Excuse me. Guys, welcome to the Kegger. It's Dom. Welcome to the craziest belching, fantastic channel, nerdiness ever, video games, and cooking videos, and cigar videos, and booze, booze, who doesn't like booze? Um, like, subscribe, hit that bell at the bottom, you guys, um, we like those likes and those comments, please, it helps us out a lot, check us out on uh, Patreon as well. Uh, check out Jamba's Twitch in the link below. Today I'm doing the Rocky Patel ITC M. Given to me by Robbie. I think Tanner has this in his humidor as well. Um, Kendall Rapper. Bella right there. Come on, focus. Oh, this side is the other side. Candela. Alright. Miss Green wrapper. Pretty neat. Well packed cigar. Look at that. Try to keep it. Um, Toro, 6 inches, ring gauge 52. Now, I like to try to give you guys that information about doing my research on uh, binder and filler and all that jazz, but I couldn't find it. Um, so I'm just going to go straight into the flavor. Oh, I'm also drinking Traffic IPA by uh, Crosstown's Brewing Company, 6.2 alcohol, alcohol by semi green can to go with the green scar. Mm -hmm. See that? Um, it's more sky blue. Anyway, uh, right off the bat, very smooth cigar. Earthy notes, very strong earthy notes. And while I'm about halfway through it, I'm actually starting to get a little. Starting to get all peppery black pepper. Notes. So, if, uh, and I'm big, big black pepper. And when my fiance makes something, it's, she makes her biscuits and gravy. It's phenomenal, fantastic. Um, but uh, you always, you know, she's probably like 20 something brines of black pepper, maybe more. And you know, I'm just weird that way, but I like to add more. Like when it's given to me in a bowl or something, I would like, I'd add more. Now, you know, this cigar kind of reminds me of the um, Swamp Thing by Drew Estates. And that was like a, can or a, a bonfire, earthy bonfire mix into the jungle with bananas. Now this one is like earthy, little sweetness of leather, black pepper, campfire smelling. Awesome stick, guys, awesome stick. Mm, very dense clouds of smoke, as you see. <coughs> Well-packed cigar, try to keep it. Um, now, I'm just sitting there thinking, if you were to go, you know, and it's just finished up raining, this would be a great cigar for sitting in the, on the front porch while it's raining. That's exactly what I'm doing. Rain, snow, shine. Thunderstorms, hailstorms, tornadoes, I'll be out here reviewing for you. Actually, I'd be looking up at the sky if it's a tornado, I'd be like, um, can I see more, please? Don't get me wrong, you know, tornadoes are terrible, but in a residential area where, I, where I'm at, it's not a good idea. But, I digress. The cigar is phenomenal. That 
draw. I know how some people are very, very picky about their draws. You know? it, it's not tight, but it's, it's, it's very, you know, very smooth draw. And I noticed, I think it's like, it depends on the ring gauge of the cigar. The smaller ring gauge, the um, part of the draw. But this is a perfect draw. Campfire smelling. Awesome smell. Perfect for a picnic with your buddies, with your family. Sitting out there in a campfire type setting. What would I rate for this? This is kind of hard sometimes to rate these. It's kind of a like mid range. So I'm thinking like a, a 2.5 to a 3. Five guys. Uh, just right here. One, two, three, five. Because if it was a ten, then actually it'll be like outrageously. Just but uh, two point five to three. Great cigar. to anybody who loves to go out camping, enjoys a nice porch area setting, wild drink. That's a great cigar. TIC. TIC. Cheers. <laughs>